So I uh, got in with my brother to Christian Rock decades ago, and I love it. Like, it gives me that rock and roll sound, but it has great lyrics and uplifting messages. And um, so my, my friend and I were going out to Arizona to disciple, uh, disciple Seventh-day Slumber and uh, Cypher Down and Spoken. And I really knew the other three, and I loved them, and I was like, well, who's the Spoken? I like, to know, um, I like to know the bands so I can sing along. So I started listening to Spoken, and uh, they were awesome. I, I liked them more than the other ones, and I was more excited to see them than the ones I knew about. So my, my buddy and I did this tactical training in the middle of the desert. We <clears throat> shot machine guns, blew things up. It was great, but it went too long. And so I, 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 we like hustled to this venue, and I get in there, and there's Matt. And he's like, thank you, and good night. And we missed him. And I was so mad. I was like, no way. Come on in. And so I was mad. And, uh, but then he, come, he came to Utah a couple years later at a church, and uh, we met him afterwards. And I brought about 10 people, and it was awesome. And he's a, just a down-to-earth, humble guy. And... and uh, I've seen him a couple other times. Saw during COVID, he did an outdoor one in a parking lot of all a dollar because <laughs> we couldn't get inside, and that was awesome. And every time he just talks with my kids, and he's just a cool guy. And, um, so I, I'm pleased to have him here. I want to tell one little mi mini miracle story, if that's okay. This is probably the worst couple weeks of my financial life. Like it just everything hit. My kids' orthos, two wisdom teeth on two kids. Um, dentists are horrible. Um, my car insurance, my car registration, I didn't get bonuses, I thought I did, like everything came, all my bills just hit me all at once. So when Matt said, hey, you know, I got a, a free night on my way from Idaho to Wyoming, you know, do you, you want to do a show? And I'm like, dude, I, I'm broke, I wish I could just pay your fee. And he's like, dude, don't worry about the fee, just let's jam. So I was like, all right. But I, I don't know, like Christian music has really saved my life in some ways. Um, when I'm in my darkest moments and, um, you know, Satan's just beating me up, it, it's really awesome to, to, to listen to this music and it, it picks you up out of your whatever you're in. And so I really wanted to do something for Matt. You know, he's, uh, you know, Bon Jovi during COVID didn't, it didn't hurt him. But uh, bands that tour and kind of rely on, on you know, concerts, you know, kind of probably, was probably pretty rough. So I, I wanted to help him financially, but it's like the worst possible time. So what I did was I just took it to the Lord. And I testify that when you take things to the Lord, it just works out. So I started door dashing about a month or so ago. And I, I just did it because my kids, they, they work at night and I come home and I'm by myself and I'm like, might as well make money instead of spend money. So a few nights I go out there. I don't think I've made more than like 40, 50 bucks a night. And my tip, I, I, my maximum tip was $4. I don't know, maybe when I door dash, it's like the cheapskates are, are hungry because I get like no tips sometimes. I drive 11 miles, I'm like, no tip. So I'm like, all right, Lord. So last night I said, Matt's giving us Saturday night, so I'm gonna give everything that I get on Friday, last night, to Matt. So hook your brother up. So the very first one I go to, the guy gives me a $23 tip. <laughs> then, and I was just on the app. <clears throat> then he hands me another 20. So $43 tip, like the very first one. Come in. Yay. The next one gives me, the next one gives me another $20 tip. Then I get nines and $7 tips. I, I just, I was so happy. I was just lit, cranking, spoken, jamming out. And I was like, yes, just dashing for Jesus, you know? And I just, it was awesome. And so, Matt, here you go. $212. And, and I, told, I told the Lord I'll give every cent to Matt. So I don't want to burn. So I'm giving every day's 27 cents to you. So. But. This right here, if you Venmo Matt, even five or ten bucks from every one of you would, would help. Would help. You know, he's got gas. He's going up to preach. The jar is just up here. Just <laughs> <throw> <laughs> <my> <laughs> <bedroom>. <laughs> 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 
But most people don't have cash. So there it is, Matt with one T, don't know why, but smoking. And um, I just, I love this guy. He's just a, his, his music is awesome, but he's a good guy. And, and he deserves a break. And I, I love putting my money to people that help someone. Because you know, he's going to Wyoming to do a is it in the morning, yeah, it, worship. Yeah. worship. He's going to do a worship up there. And do you know, he, I just, maybe I think differently, but that right there gets him gas money up to that church. And there's a brother and sister of mine up in Wyoming that might be having the worst time of their life. They can actually be thinking about taking their own life. But that man's going to say something in that audience and help that person. So you don't, you don't think five or ten bucks, but it, it'll get them gas money up to do a, a great thing for some people. So, you know, I'm just saying if the Holy Ghost, when you, he's singing, you hear some, an amazing lyric or something, you're like, that's awesome. You know, maybe get the Venmo out. And... <laughs> anyway, I, I give it to you, Matt Baird. That's quite the intro. Uh, thank you. Um, so the, uh, I don't know why it's, I, I have a lot to say because you said a lot and it makes me think of a lot. Um, one, I love Utah. I wish I could live here, but I don't think I could ever afford to live here. I wish I had that to look at every day when I woke up. Um, and the reason it's M-A-T spoken is because someone took M-A-T-T -T spoken. <laughs> I don't know why. <clears throat> but they did, and there's nothing I can do about it. So um, so I, I normally give a disclaimer before I start playing songs that uh, I might play some songs you've heard before. I might play some songs you've never heard. I might play uh, some songs you like and maybe some songs you don't like. But we're locking the door so it doesn't matter. <laughs> It's so good to be here. Thank you for letting me be here. Um, I guess I'll start with one that you don't know, and then we can kind of get to know each other as, as we move on through the night. This is a, uh, a song called Sleep Well Tonight. Yeah. 